Hello guys, in this video we explain how you can export a part from NX, make it parametric and add connectors, so you can use it in Line Designer. In this example we use the CAD assembly of a test plant, extract the rail part and make it parametric, so you can modify the length and connect it dynamically in the Line Designer project. At first we export a standalone part of a bigger assembly. Therefore, we go to the assembly tree and select the assembly we want and open it in a new window. In this assembly, we select the specific part we want to export and open it also in a new window. After that, we go to File, Export, Select Part. By clicking on the button Specify Part, choose a saving destination and a name for the exported part. If you are done, click on Class Selection and select the part by left-clicking. Now we open the exported part in a new window and we are finished. In this section we rebuild the existing part by sketch, so later we can modify the length. We need to do this because the original rail is a rigged body and can't be modified in the way we need to. We open the exported part, select the button Sketch and also select the area we want to sketch on. For the rebuild you have to trace the contour of the rail. Therefore NX has some special sketch tools to create lines and circles. But this takes a little bit of time, so we speed it up in our video. If the sketch is done, you finish the sketch by clicking the button with the checkered flag on it. Now select the original body and delete him. For extruding your sketch, you have to select the sketch in the part tree and click on the extrude button. And then you can choose the length of the rail in the distance field and extrude it. To complete the rail we have to create two other sketches on both ends for the two links of the rail. We will speed it up because we've already shown how to sketch in the last section. After rebuilding the part, we want to make the rail parametric. Therefore, we need a variable in the expression table and create a template with the PTS author. So if you want to implement the rail into your line designer project, you can choose the length of the rail in a pop-up menu. At first, we open the expression table by typing in expressions in the search bar or with the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus E. In the expression table, we add the variable length and give it a value. Then we go back to our extrude feature, which we have created before, and change the distance value to the variable length. Now if we change the value length, you will see our rail will be shorter or longer. Next we open the so-called PTS author by typing in PTS in the search bar. 
Here you can see the template window that will show up when you add the part to a project. We want to set the length of the rail in this dialog. In this window we create the template and define all options. And in the other window you can add expressions, user inputs and visualizations to the template. We go to the options window and change the main dialog title into new rail. Then we need to go to the dialog initialization and set launch redefine constraints and allow quick access to the template to true. This is necessary for showing up the dialog by adding the part in the line designer. We also change the label title to please select and after that we want to add the expression length by right clicking it, change the title to length which is given in millimeters. For the display style we take list of choices and define some values in the array. Change the return type to indexed value, otherwise it will return the index. And in the end we want to show you how to add an image, so the user knows even better what he will change at the part. Therefore it is important to say that the picture must have the specific format .bmp. After the properties are done, we can publish it and exit the PDS author by clicking on the button with the checkered flag. In this section we add connectors to the endings so we can easily connect rails in the Line Designer project. First we have to open Line Designer. We can do this by clicking the Line Designer button or pressing Ctrl plus L on the keyboard. The next step is to click on the Add Connector button and to specify a point on the rail. After that we have to give it a name and a type, but be careful, the type is case sensitive. Now we choose a compatible type for connectors we want to connect with. Don't forget to add it to the list and make sure the type names match. The next step is to specify the orientation by selecting two vectors. The first one for the direction of the connector and the second one for the rotation of the part by implementing in line design. We have to do the same procedure on the other side with a new name and switch connector types. It is possible for a better appearance to resize the connectors. Just type in Resize Connectors in the search bar and open it. For resizing the connector, you have to choose a value which is given in millimeters. Our part is now ready, so we can add it into the reuse library. Therefore, go to the reuse library tab Right click and open the library manager. Click add library and select the folder where the part was saved. Give your new library a name and finish. Now we can add the part from the reuse library into our line designer project. For further information about working with line designer and team center, watch the second part of our trilogy line designer and team center manufacturing.